So something that I find when I am using spreadsheets is that I like to include numbers on things frequently. So this particular thing, I want to have students uh, list their group members, and there's four to six group members each one. So I want group member one name, and then I wanted to say group member one email, and then I would have to do group member to name and group member to email. And this can get really tedious and I'm kind of lazy. I don't like to type that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one and I'm going to say this is also a one. And then the next one I'm going to say this equals the previous one plus one. So it's going to automatically increment one. And then I want the one next to it to equal the one, to be the same because I want it to be duplicates. So this particular one is one more than the previous, and this one is the same as the one to the left. And I'm going to change my formula here that this equals quotations, and then I want to end the quotation and I want to say this number below it. So it's group member space bar, that particular number, and quotation, space bar, um, name. Now I'm going to drag this over so it copies. So now as you notice it says group one, member one name, and I'm going to change it from saying name to saying email. Now I'm going to take this to two, and I'm going to pull this to the right so it's going to finish my pattern so it goes 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6. So I didn't have to type all those by hand. And then I'm going to highlight these two formulas that I had and I'm going to pull them also. And so now it says group 6 member name, group 6 member email. And now I don't really want the formulas anymore. I'm done with that. So I'm going to highlight all of those that I just created. And then I'm going to copy, Command C, I'm on a Mac, Control on a PC. So I'm going to copy, and I want to right click and paste special. I'm going to paste the values. Now the reason I did that is now when I double click on here, the formula is gone, and it just says the information I need. So now that it's not referencing these numbers down here, I'm just going to delete them. So I just put the numbers there temporarily to help me to get them into my th uh, headers here, and now I'm all set to have my students fill out this spreadsheet.